All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna be just touching up some stuff that I have to get done in the Civic Hatch and later we're gonna go do some pulls, get some daytime footage for you guys. Hope you enjoy, let's get the intro going. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, but I was down and up like last week. Tell me where have you been? So what I'm starting with today is my loose positive terminal. Um, as you can see, it's not anywhere close to being tight. So sometimes when I go to start it, it'll just click and I have to get out. Mess with the terminal a little bit, just wiggle it so it gets a little tight for a second, then it'll start. So the easiest way that I know to fix that and the cheapest way, all you got to do is take some tin foil, put it over the terminal, and then slide the clamp, I guess, over it. And that's just a cheap, quick fix for that. So I'm just going to go ahead, pop this off. Alright, so as you can see, I got a good amount of tin foil wadded up around there, so now it's not too loose and it should start every time. Probably going to go ahead and put a little bit more just so it doesn't even wiggle. I want to get it as tight as I possibly can. So I went ahead, put a little bit more on there. Now I know it's not going to wiggle or be loose at all. Now that I have the battery terminal done, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and compression test the engine. I haven't compression tested this yet and it's something I've been wanting to do just so I know where the motor is at health wise just see what i can do as far as mods on this block without having to do any maintenance work so if it tests high we're good to go if it doesn't we'll decide from there spark plug off pull it out get my compression tester feed it down in there get it threaded on what kind of sucks is that i'm compression testing it by myself i have no one out here helping me so I'm kind of just going to have to leave this out here, crank it a couple times, then come check it. I'm not going to be able to watch it as it cranks. But the compression testers just stay at where they go to, so it's not going to be an issue where I'm not going to be able to see what it's at. Alright, so all we got to do is go ahead, crank it a couple times. One more time, just in case it didn't read all the way. Good. So I got through compression testing all four cylinders. They're all a little lower than I'd hoped, but it's not terrible by any means. I didn't film all that because it's pretty repetitive and I don't think you guys need to see me do that four times in a row. But now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean the top of this really quick because it's just a little dirty, the paint's chipping, I don't like the way it looks, and I don't want any of this nastiness to get inside of the spark plug holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it with some brake clean and clean it out. So I got the top of the valve cover cleaned off a little bit. I wasn't really able to get much of the paint off, but I got the dirt and scuds away from the spark plug holes. I didn't want any of that getting in there, so that's what I was more worried about. I'm gonna be taking this off and repainting it at some point soon, so I'm not too worried about the paint either. But I wanna hear in the comments what you guys are thinking of this car so far, and what you guys want to see out of this car. I'm really loving it so far. It's quick and it scares the hell out of me, and that's what I really like out of a car, so. This thing is going to be slowly becoming a pretty cool car. And yeah, it's just, here's my work in progress. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is make a strap for the radiator. Because the radiator isn't really held in by much and it moves around. So I'm just going to use this, cut it out, and bolt it from here to right here. And it should hold the radiator in place, make it not move around too much. Also, the other day when I had my car up on a lift, we discovered some things. So we already knew that it had the B16 swap in it and some performance headers, but now I also know that it has a lightweight flywheel, it has upgraded shift linkage, and from just the way it feels and the fact that it has a lightweight flywheel, I believe the car has an aftermarket clutch because it feels really grabby and I don't know anyone that would do a lightweight flywheel and not do an aftermarket clutch, so that points to there being an aftermarket clutch in the car as well and it also has a swapped GSR trans in it. So just a few more things in this car that I didn't know, but that are pretty cool. It's always fun to find upgrades in your car that you didn't know about, and it is way better than finding stuff that is wrong that you didn't know about. 
So as you can see, I got the radiator strap done and now it should not move as much or really at all. And that concludes the couple things I wanted to get touched up today. So now it's time to go let the car warm up and go for some rips. So I wanted to get some footage of pulls in the Civic on the channel and right now is a perfect opportunity. It's a little bit wet out so traction might be a tiny bit of an issue but it'll still be relatively accurate. I'm not going to spin that much. It's not that high horsepower of a car at all. I'm just going to throw the GoPro on the windshield and let you guys enjoy. I don't know how I forgot as this was one of the most important things I wanted to do. Uh, one more thing I got to button up real quick. I got to throw some oil in the car. I completely forgot to do this. I don't know how I forgot because that's really important but time to put some oil in it and then we'll go. I should definitely get a funnel for this. Take two extra seconds to walk over and grab it rather than spilling oil all over my engine. That'll work. Gotta wipe it off real quick so we make sure we get no contaminants in our engine. Cause that's how things go boom. And away she goes. Right, guys that is a wrap for this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video hit that like button and go check out other videos of mine if you didn't like this video go in the comments tell me why you didn't like it or go in the comments tell me what you want to see in future videos if you're new hit that subscribe button and as always have a good one peace she see money all around me i look like i'm the man yeah but i was down and out like last week